the original and world's biggest crypto has hit the headlines for being bad news when it comes to the environment. The issue here is the massive amount of electricity used to mine these Bitcoins. Bitcoin mining uses more than twice the amount of energy as every TV in the US. The amount of energy that's consumed in processing those transactions is staggering. Bitcoin's made out to be this huge monster who's kind of destroying the world. Last year, Tesla stopped taking Bitcoin because of concerns of the use of fossil fuels in mining. Bitcoin dropping sharply since Musk tweet uh, last night, trading under $50,000 right now. EcoCost has a real cost for investors. I do think environmental concerns about around Bitcoin are preventing people from buying Bitcoin. But like with most things involving crypto, the picture is complex. Bitcoin supporters say it's shouldering an unfair environmental reputation. Compared to banking Bitcoin's carbon footprint is much lower. And with sanctions against Russia putting a squeeze on fossil fuels across the board at the same time that Bitcoin is embracing green energy, can the crypto ditch its dirty, fuel-guzzling reputation? Twenty twenty one saw a massive boom in the price of Bitcoin. Got a brief Bitcoin alert. Uh, the crypto breaking above sixty thousand dollars for the first time since April, reaching as high as sixty eight thousand seven hundred and eighty nine dollars. But it wasn't just investors excited by this potential jackpot. For the last year and a half, there's been substantial incentive to mine Bitcoin based on price. Entrepreneurial types see Bitcoin mining as pennies from heaven, like 19th century California gold prospectors. Bitcoin miners use competing computers to race to solve brute force mathematical puzzles in order to verify Bitcoin transactions and bundle them into the next block on the blockchain, minting new Bitcoin. The current Bitcoin mining machines do this 100,000 times per second. It's incredible. And there are 140 million guesses per second done uh, by the entire network of Bitcoin miners. A new block is created every 10 minutes. For their efforts, the successful miner is rewarded with six and a quarter Bitcoins. Today, that's around a whopping $275,000. But there's another price to be paid for the power used to operate and cool Bitcoin mining computers at full tilt. That cost is the electricity used Running one machine takes up as much electricity as running central air in your home 24-7. Bitcoin mining is a big business with vast data centers full of energy sapping equipment. You can look at a graph and um, back when Bitcoin first started and the energy use was very, very minimal. But if you look at that graph, it just kind of keeps climbing and climbing and climbing. And in recent years, it's just kind of stooped all the way up. The reason this is, is because the price has increased and more people are encouraged to get mining. Bitcoin isn't the only crypto produced by proof of work, but it does account for the most energy used by the industry. It consumes approximately 75% of the total electricity used by the leading mineable cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin has a terrible environmental rep. It's seen as this planet killer. In the last six months, Bitcoin's annual energy consumption has doubled to 129 terawatt hours, nearly half a percent of all electricity used in the whole world. That's enough to power every fridge in the US or keep the lights on in every American house for two years. It uses more energy than 25 African nations combined Nearly half the continent's population, over 665 million people, use less power than the Bitcoin network. To see how Bitcoin energy consumption compares to where you live, click on the link in the description below. While Bitcoin mining continues to offer profit, energy consumption will continue to rise. Right now, the cost to mine one Bitcoin is about $12,000 in power, plus the cost of the machine. Now, if you contrast that with the cost to buy a Bitcoin on the open market, I think today it's about $44,000. As Bitcoin price goes up, so does the hash rate. More computing and process power is being contributed to the network, so there is an increase in energy usage. Also, as more miners join, the puzzles they're trying to crack get harder needing more and more energy to be thrown at them. 
Last year saw a record number of new Bitcoin miners. There are currently reported to be 160 quintillion calculations made every second. That's 160 with 18 zeros. But this stark picture doesn't tell the full story. Yes, Bitcoin mining uses a lot of energy. I see the headlines, we all see the headlines. They're very outspoken about Bitcoin mining's impact on the environment but it is more complicated. Data shows that gold mining, for instance, is around twice as resource exhaustive as Bitcoin, which gets the bad eco rep and none of the glittery Midas touch. Gold mining has been happening forever, so people don't like stop to think about it. People only critique things that are new. Mining gold requires destroying the ground that is holding the gold inside of it, which is obviously not good. And Bitcoin's energy burn is small fry compared to traditional finance. Bitcoin uses less than a fifth of the electricity that the banking sector does and produces a sixth of the CO2. So why is Bitcoin the one saddled with the environmental image problem? There's definitely an argument that Bitcoin isn't seen as essential compared to banking. Because, I mean, with traditional banking, we use it every day, whether tapping your card at a supermarket to buy food or whether you're paying for goods. I mean, when it comes to Bitcoin, it's usually seen as a way for investors to trade and make some money rather than a necessity for everyday life. True, the last few years has seen massive mainstream adoption of Bitcoin with an 80% increase since January 2020, but it's still not widely used for practical payments. And if you take it back to that energy level and that high energy usage, it's much harder to justify Bitcoin having a high energy usage compared to traditional banking. But there are some real world examples of where Bitcoin is proving its worth and importance. Places where people need to use Bitcoin because they cannot be supported by a digital banking infrastructure, they are not worried about the environmental impact of Bitcoin. They are excited to have a way to transact digitally and store value digitally that uh, supports their lifestyle. There are women in the Middle East that were unable to have a bank account, but Bitcoin gave them a way to start earning and storing their own money. It's argued Bitcoin's worth is also being highlighted by the current Russia-Ukraine conflict. People, I guess, are using this as a way to donate to help the Ukrainian people. With over $100 million worth of donations, Ukraine has legalized crypto. There's a couple of reasons why people are using Bitcoin as a way to fundraise. And one of which is that it's much faster to send money across borders by using Bitcoin. The second is there's no international fees. So I can send some money over to Ukraine and I won't be charged an extortionate amount just to send over some money. And finally, the transparency. You know where your money's going because you can see the wallet address. And that blockchain is public, so anyone's able to see it. Um, so you're able to track exactly what your money is being used for and who is it going to. So the question becomes not the size of Bitcoin's energy consumption, but rather, is it worth it? To me, the energy use to have a global censorship resistant store of value that cannot be co-opted by governments and, and is uh, accessible by everyone in the world is worth the energy expenditure of some something less than 1% of global energy. So it's clear that the data around Bitcoin's energy consumption has to be viewed in context. Bitcoin's energy use isn't clear cut. There's lots of complexities. It's seen as producing the same amount as, as energy as big countries, um, but there's lots of factors to unpack there. Bitcoin's annual energy consumption is comparable with Argentina, but if you compare the country's GDP with Bitcoin's market cap, it could be argued that Bitcoin's value is larger. It isn't as simple as saying, oh, Bitcoin has big energy use, that's, that's huge, we should abort. Um, it isn't that simple. Another point of controversy is the link between Bitcoin mining and global warming. A well-known 2018 report in Nature magazine claimed that projected Bitcoin usage could produce enough CO2 to warm the planet by more than the two degrees Celsius ratified in the 2015 Paris Agreement. But Bitcoin supporters offer a different view. It's sloppy, lazy thinking by the authors in order to make that claim. The thought is, Bitcoin can turn burning energy into money, so people will burn all of the energy to get all of the money. The, the problem is that's not really how things work. There are second order effects. 
One second order effect in the Bitcoin space is that the price of energy goes up the more energy that gets used, uh, which can make Bitcoin mining not profitable and will cause Bitcoin mining to stop or slow down. And while the debate over data rages, there is evidence Bitcoin is going green faster than ever. Research from the Bitcoin Mining Council found that more than half of Bitcoin's electricity consumption comes from renewable sources as of April 2021. And that figure is set to increase. Burning energy that's non-renewable and has a high emission profile is bad for Bitcoin mining because it's the least profitable way to power these machines. So we'll see Bitcoin mining continue to evolve and, and grow into the renewable areas like solar energy, wind energy, hydro. China's ousting of crypto miners in autumn 2021 meant an end to them using the country's cheap fossil fuels. Now the US is the center of Bitcoin production, accounting for 35% of the world's hash rate, meaning greater environmental protection and focus on renewables. For mining companies, it's going to become much more important for them to show off their green credentials. Investors are suddenly wanting to know what their investment is doing to the planet and what the wider impacts of them buying a Bitcoin is. Data shows 62% of all mining farm operators use hydroelectricity, making it the most common source of energy for Bitcoin production. And Bitcoin supporters point to even more innovative green energy solutions. Some uses of Bitcoin mining are even uh, mining Bitcoin and reducing waste at the same time. For instance, in the oil fields, Bitcoin miners are hooking up directly to natural gas lines. Uh, this natural gas would otherwise be burned and the methane would be released into the environment. But instead, what companies are doing is converting the gas to energy to power the miners. This creates Bitcoin and it also reduces the emissions of the process of getting oil out of the ground. But Bitcoin has other hurdles to navigate if it's to redeem itself when it comes to the environment. It's not just energy use that Bitcoin's struggling with. It's producing a lot of e-waste, the hardware and the equipment that is needed to mine these Bitcoins. Researchers have found the buildup of obsolete technology used in Bitcoin mining has been dramatic, rising 31% in the last 12 months. They're saying that it's e-waste is the same as throwing away two iPhones per every Bitcoin mined, or 200 grams per, of e-waste per transaction. But it's an argument that frustrates Bitcoin supporters. The e-waste conversation around Bitcoin mining is a little bit overblown. They all reference the same source of data that says that a Bitcoin miner is typically upgraded every one, one year and three months, which is, is not accurate. That was during the time where Bitcoin mining machines were just getting started and they could frequently get beaten in the marketplace and turned unprofitable and need to be tossed out. In the new age where we've reached a sort of an efficiency peak and that doesn't happen anymore, the machines run for significantly longer. Another challenge is that in the race for investment, Bitcoin is up against other more environmentally friendly currencies. Bitcoin is competing with loads of green cryptos, ones whose energy consumption is not as high, it's not as dirty, like Algorand, who's actually doing the opposite of Bitcoin, taking carbon emissions out of the atmosphere, or Ethereum, moving to more energy efficient proof of stake protocol, or Solana, whose energy use is minimal. But Bitcoin's exponents say it has what it takes to weather the storm. Bitcoin right now is the only cryptocurrency with an anonymous founder and a completely fair distribution. And I do think that for the long term ability of crypto to remain not like a company, like you don't want your cryptocurrency to be a company, you want your cryptocurrency to be a commodity that just like always exists. And Bitcoin will definitely always exist because nobody runs it. Nobody's nobody can make any decisions that would break Bitcoin, whereas all the other cryptos have a centralized leadership that has the opportunity to to destroy it. The future of Bitcoin mining is far from certain. Although the European Parliament recently rejected a clause in an upcoming crypto legislation that would have effectively banned all proof of work based cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin, it's clear it's an issue that's not likely to go away. With enormous environmental, social and governance pressure on Bitcoin, the clock is ticking on redeeming its green credentials. Thanks for watching. For more films and all things crypto, click the subscribe button and we'll let you know when they land. 
or you can head over to our website for the latest crypto news.